All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the Freedom Office. This video I wanted to do because I got an email from a good friend, Pugzilla. Hey, Pugzilla, uh, with a very cool question that I felt would be a good subject for a video. Uh, with the advent or the increasing amount of firearms that have been purchased in the last year, there are a lot of people who are out there and are new to the AR-15 platform. So this question was a really, really cool question, or otherwise I would be doing a video about it. So anyway, he wanted to know, and I'm going to read the email here so I can get it right, but we're going to do a little bit more, Pug. So we're going to do this. Hi, just finished watching the video on YouTube, BCGs, what's the difference and who's the best? Everybody says, when are you going to complete that video, man? The only problem with this, I found out there's just no way to calculate who's got the best BCG uh, or, um, you know, <laughs> cryptic is one of the best cryptic coatings. This is a really cool uh, BCG. It's probably one of the better ones I've ever seen. Uh, here's another, JP. JP makes a great bolt carrier group. But is there a best one out there? I don't know. Uh, we got Bravo Company, you've got a bunch of others. If you guys put a, put a comment down below about who you think has the best bolt carrier. Okay, my question to you is this. Is there a difference in the BCGs uh, between calibers, 223, 308, 300 AAC. And uh, Pugzilla, yes, there is. And we're going to talk about that. Just a brief video. Uh, what I want to show you uh, 308, 65, uh, Creedmoor. Uh, there are a difference. One's a large frame, one's a small frame. And when they do small frame, that's a regular AR 15. And when we do a large frame, the receiver, the upper, lower, the chamber, everything is bigger. Now I'm gonna show you. This is a large frame AR platform bolt carrier group. Now, this is a regular size. Now, you know, I, again, guys, there is no such thing to me as a stupid question, okay? This is not a stupid question. I think it's viable because people are asking this. Okay, so look at that. Here's the difference between the two. This is a large frame, this is a regular frame. And I wanted to do this like this instead of a, a, a tabletop review so we can look at these things. I've got a bunch of videos out there, but in any case, there's the difference. Now, the bolt size, if you look at that pug, there's a huge difference in the bolt size. There's the face of the bolt, you can see that. 223, this is 6.5 Creedmoor, same bolt for a 308 though, okay? They interchange, no big deal. The only thing that's the difference between the two is the chamber. Okay, and the barrel diameter, interior, interior diameter. Okay, so Pug also, we have a difference between 223 and say, this is the, the most extreme difference. I have a 458 SOCOM. All right, now because it operates in a low or small frame AR-15 or regular AR-15 size, the carrier itself is the same, all right? The bolt is different in that the face accepts a uh, 458 SOCOM round. I'll show you something real quickly. <laughs> okay, so in an effort to maybe better explain this thing, I want to show you something. So, uh, 223, or 556, five, 65, five, all right? Large frame, small frame. Look at the size of those, okay? So, you know, this is not gonna go into a rifle with a regular OBCG. Now, here's uh, another thing, 300 blackout, right? 5.56, five, same size. And, and, and a lot of people that I know who actually do a lot of 300 sub, subsonic stuff, uh, by the way, this is the, the manufacturer by the good old boys over there, Callaway Ballistics. <laughs> Uh, you get free shipping with orders over $200 using KB32 TAC uh, promo code. In any case, uh, there you go. Now, the bad thing is, and this is, uh, I've actually seen this happen. I've heard it happen a couple times. Uh, you get some people who accidentally put these into their regular AR, and you're going to have some issues if it ignites. Okay, so uh, here's an extreme. 458 SOCOM. Look at how big that booger is. Okay, look at this size. Now here's the thing, uh, and I'm gonna show you, this is, well, let me find it. Okay, 
Here is a bolt for 458 SOCOM right there. Let me see if I can get it. You see the sidewalls, how much they are reduced? That's the big difference. Carriers are the same. The bolt is the same with the exception of the opening of the bolt face right there. All right, cool. Uh, so also there is a difference with the 6.5 Grendel. This is a 6.5 Grendel or 6 Arc, and it'll actually do the same thing, the same bolt for the 6.5 Grendel and the 6 Arc, okay? But there is a reduced area around here. The bolt face opening the, that accepts the bullet with the extractor is smaller right here, this area. Okay, so here's another thing I wanted to show you. Uh, the difference is between a pistol caliber carbine, you've got nine millimeter. So here's the deal here. This is actually out of a CMMG with the delay rollback system. Now the cool thing back, watch this. These are spring loaded because there is not a gas system in this thing. So you see that that uh, gas tube or the, what do you hell do you call it? The gas key right here is solid because it's direct blowback. Here is another BCG. These, this is from Cryptic Coatings also, and it's direct blowback. But all it is more like a regular old pistol extractor. See how it works right there? Well, actually, that's got an AR extractor in it. But there's the difference between that. That is a 9 millimeter PCC. This is also with a regular bolt carrier, but it's a spring-loaded bolt. Um, all, here's another thing I want to show, show you. The gas key in a large frame AR-15 like this, here's a gas key, it is the same size as the uh, small frame. There is no difference in those. So there you go, man. Um, I hope that answers your question. I hope that if anybody else out there has a question, please let me know. Because this is the fun part about doing what I do. Uh, with that being said, Pug, there you go. Hope that helps. KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.